Today, we're going to be presenting the effects of alprazolam on wound healing and regeneration in planaria. In this experiment, we are testing if commonly prescribed medications affect the rate of wound healing sites. Planaria were used in this experiment because they possess a large amount of stem cells called neoblasts, as well as they have the ability to fully regenerate themselves in about two weeks. Alprazolam is the medication that we used in this experiment, and it is the generic form of Xanax. Xanax is used to help treat general anxiety disorders. Alprazolam belongs to the drug class known as benzodiazepines. Benzodiazepines work by affecting the GABA receptors found in the brain, as well as increasing the activity of GABA molecules. This research is very relevant to modern day medicine as many people are already prescribed medications such as alprazolam before they enter surgery. And it is still not known how these medications can affect the human wound healing process. We hypothesize that because stress has a negative impact on regeneration and wound healing traditionally in planaria, that an anti-anxiety medication such as alprazolam would alleviate any stress and speed up the regenerative speed of planaria and shorten the wound process overall. Experimentally, planaria were chopped in half along the anterior posterior axis and then placed in either spring water, methanol, or alprazolam. Concentrations of alprazolam were chosen chosen based on the dosage of 25 milligrams per a 70 kilogram adult. Methanol was used as our second control as the alprazolam we acquired was dissolved in a methanol solution. So we wanted to eliminate any extra variables of, in our results. In order to examine whether alprazolam actually had a de-stressing effect, a light dark test was used to assess anxiety-like behaviors. Both ambient and strong light sources were used and each test was taken at the same time of day. Our results show the regeneration timeline that was found in planaria. Picture A shows the formation of a blastema, which is the white spot that shows the wound site and it would appeared a few days after the cut was made. Picture B shows early tissue regeneration, which was occurring when the blastema was no longer visible. And lastly, picture C shows a fully regenerated head in which both auricles and eye spots are seen. Overall, during the regeneration timeline, we also noticed that even though the worms were cut in half initially, some of the worms continued to split themselves and we had three pieces of worms in some of our dishes. Overall, the regeneration rates of planaria were found to be slower at low doses of alprazolam. The one to 200 dose of alprazolam is seen as the purple line in this graph. In the formation of the blastema, the eye spots and the oracles all were slower at that dose. The one to 50 dose was a higher dose and we actually saw the opposite effect in the higher dose. We saw the blastema formation was faster as well as the generation of the eye spots and oracles. We also found that alprazolam does affect anxiety-like behaviors when performing the light-dark test. Methanol alone does increase the amount of time that the worm spent in the light, but overall the four microgram per milliliter dose showed that the worm spent the most amount of time in light and they spent 261% more time in the light than just spring water and 135% more than just methanol alone. Overall, our hypothesis was incorrect as the rate of regeneration in planaria was slightly slower at low doses of alprazolam. This is consistent with literature published from burn studies, which shows that the use of benzodiazepines such as alprazolam can inhibit the wound healing process. Currently, higher doses of alprazolam are being observed and they have shown de-differentiation, the loss of oracles and eye spots, and a slower regeneration process than both our controls overall as well. 
The effects of alprazolam on mitotic activity and GABA receptor levels throughout the regeneration and wound healing process is something that we hope to explore in the future. Humans and planaria both are shown to have similar GABA receptors in the brain, which allows for our regeneration results to be relevant to the wound healing process in modern medicine. Thank you for coming to our presentation.